Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Welcome back to my channel today from a different location. I'm at the outer perimeter of the club station Delta Lima Zero Alpha Oscar. And I'm here because we have an over-regional uh, event where we show kids our club station and our great hobby. So my part is showing portable setups and that uh, ham radio doesn't need to be expensive or uh, complicated. And I wanted to use that opportunity to show you my, my pole setups here. <clears throat> I have here two different poles. This one is by Spider Beam. And as you can see, uh, this is the 10 meter mini, and this is the 10 meter mini by DX Wire. Both have about the same length. This one is weighing double as much as the DX wire, uh, but that's more robust. You've got to know that as well. Now, let's have a look at what we can do. Um, the first thing we are going to look at is this very tip here. I'm trying to put it closer to your focus. This is what you need, where you need to, uh, where you can can put your uh, antenna to, so you can get it up. I have the same thing for the spider beam pole, as you can see here, it's a little bit bigger, but the same thing. This is something you need, and on top of that, when we want to elevate the poles by our own, then we need some kind of guy line support. I'm going to show you that in a minute, also 3D printed. As you can tell, this one is for the spider beam and this one is for the DX wire. And on top of that, I'm using tent poles. These ones can be uh, put into the ground without a hammer. You can screw that in, very practical. And then I have my guy lines. These are 3D printed hasps. I have string and I have a, a hook here that I can simply attach. And this way I can set up antennas by myself. Um, <clears throat> if I would be on plain field, I would show you that, how I do that. So, But right now, since I have these uh, fence poles behind me, I'm just going to lazy uh, attach myself to them and the antenna is up. Uh, don't waste resources if you don't need to. So what I'm doing is, I'm <coughs> usually I'm uh, removing all the lines so I know the length of that. We'll lay that in a triangle. Then I will go in one third of the string length, and we'll put the uh, we'll fix the the um, the string with a tent pole at this position one third in I'm doing this with uh, two with two positions um, yeah and then I elevate my pole you got to be really careful that you have that one over the pole tip then attach your antenna and then elevate it and this will grip once the correct height is achieved then you have your two points where you uh, have attached your strings to the ground and the foot of the pole is the third point so now you know where the, the, the pole is standing and once it's completely elevated then you take the third line and just elevate it so it won't fall over by itself it's as easy as that this is the point that I want to erect of my antenna My pole. What I need to do now is I need to attach that antenna to my pole. Sure thing. What I'm going to do now is I will erect that. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. 
So, fully elevated. Now I'm trying to carefully glue it here. Put something in between so it doesn't get scratched. And I simply need to secure that somehow. And these cable ties. Um, Can't elevate the code easier than that by just stealing existing infrastructure. And we're good to go. Won't go anywhere. Now look at that. Sorry guys, it's always the same. I'm planning to do a lot of videoing, but the time right now is so busy um, that I don't have enough time to, to, to capture all my footage. Um, and there's stuff that I, I shouldn't be capturing, like when, when youth is on the air, so you, you don't film children of, of other people. Uh, that's that's no-go for me. And um, yeah, so I'm... I'm trying to make sense of all of this. I wanted to show you my pole setups. Uh, maybe I will uh, well, do another video in the future where I even give you drone footage from above. So this makes sense because I realized when I uh, reviewed my footage that <laughs> I used the, the, the wrong vocabulary and uh, never mind. What is this about? I published on my homepage uh, deal2mn.de. Uh, slash antennas uh, just just look it up I uh, reworked everything I published uh, all the 3d printing files including the those uh, tips for the uh, poles in case you want to listen just to mention that I removed the four top elements of both poles that's one thing to mention the other thing is I also published the files for the guy line supports whatever you call it Sorry, not my native language. And on top of that, I've now tested on two events uh, the the smaller PCB. I tested it, you can see it here. The complete uniform or one antenna is on this smaller package. It has now fist size, it's 250 grams roundabout, working really great. So it's okay to release it. So I released it. Um yeah, that's about it for today. See you next time, 73. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.